Hi, in this video we're going to graph a basic sine function. So what we'll do is we're going to start by making a table of values and we're going to find all the values and we're going to plot them and see what we're going to get. Hopefully by now you sh already know all the values for uh, special angles in, for a sine function. So let's go ahead and do it. So sine 0 is 0, sine pi over 6 is 1 half, pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2, this is going to be square root of 3 over 2, this is going to be 1, 2 pi over 3 is going to be square root of 3 over 2, this one is going to be square root of 2 over 2, for pi over 6 is going to be 1 half, for pi is going to be 0, 7 pi over 6 is going to be negative 1 half, for 5 pi over 4 is going to be negative square root of 2 over 2, negative square root of 3 over 2, negative 1, negative square root of 3 over 2, negative square root of 2 over 2, 11 pi over 6 is going to be negative 1 half, for 2 pi is 0, and for 13 pi over 6 is going to be 1 half, it's going to start all over again. Since we want to plot it, let's write decimal approximations here for some of them, or exact values, 0, that's 0.5, it's approximately 0.7, this is approximately 0.9, no, actually let me write this like this, 0.71, this is actually 0.87. 1, 0.87, 0.71, 71.5, this one's going to be 0 obviously, negative 0.5, negative 0.71, negative 0.87, negative 1, negative, negative 0.87, negative 0.71, negative 0.5, 0, and then start it all over again with 0.5. Okay, so these are the values and we are going to plot these values to graph our function. So we, um, the function uh, f of x equals sine x uh, completed its full period. What, mean, what it means it went over and it's going to start the values again because as we already saw for 13 pi over 6 which is when you exceed 2 pi uh, the values are going to repeat again. So what we have here is, is going to be 1, this is going to be negative 1, and we're going to go ahead and plot the point. So for 0 is 0, uh, then we had pi over, so for pi over 2 is going to be, uh, for pi over 2 was 1, right? For pi was 0, I'm going to do those angles first, then for uh, 3 pi over 2 it was negative 1 and for 2 pi it was 0 again then we have angles in between so for pi over 6 which is approximately here was 0.5 for pi over 4 which is halfway here is 0.7 so it's right about there somewhere close for pi over 3 it was 0.89 very close here and then 0.89 here, 0 0.7, 0 0.5, I'm going to get z to 0, then here it's going to be negative 0.5, negative 0.71, negative 0.89, negative 0.89, negative 0.71, negative half. And what we're going to get is we start it drawing that is you're going to start getting a curve that is going to look like this okay it looks like a wave and that wave is going to continue so if we were to continue doing this this is going to do one more wave like that because remember when we're going to go around the unit circle we're going to start hitting all the same values all over again, right? It's going to happen when we go to negative values, same thing. So it's just going to continue doing these, we call them oscillations. And it's going to continue going up and down like this. So we got this wave curve. Okay? And uh, this function is going to repeat every 2 pi, as you can see, there's a full revolution here over 
a course of uh, and then on, on the interval of 2 pi and another interval of 2 pi and another interval of 2 pi does the same thing. So let's su summarize this. So this is what the graph looks like. It's a wave, it's not as stretched as what I had there, but it is the same kind of a concept. The domain is going to be all real numbers. The graph of sine is going to oscillate between negative 1 and 1, so the range here is going to be just negative 1 to 1. Where is this function going to be increasing? So it's going to be increasing on multiple intervals. It's going to increase, for example, from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, right? And again, from 3 pi over 2 to 5 pi over 2. So you can generalize that expression as this, negative pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. From, so from, negative, from that value of negative 2 pi to pi over 2 plus 2 pi n, as we already agreed that that interval was correct. But what is this? This is a shift of 2 pi. So from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2, we're going to have that. Then if you add 2 pi, that's going to put you here. Negative pi over 2 plus 2 pi is 3 pi over 2. And then pi over 2 plus 2 pi is going to be 5 pi over 2. So it's going to be another interval. This is going to give you multiple intervals. And in this case is uh, an integer. Where is this function decreasing? Well, for example, from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2. And again, it's going to repeat every 2 pi. So I can write from pi over 2 plus 2 pi n to 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Again, the same idea as before. If I start here at pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2, it's going to have a full revolution. The next one is going to be from 7 pi over 2, I'm sorry, from 5 pi over 2 to 7 pi over 2, and that's how it's going to continue. So n is an integer. Where are the x-intercepts? It's going to have multiple x-intercepts, infinitely many. It's going to happen at 0, pi, 2 pi, negative pi, negative 2 pi. So you can write it as a general rule. It's going to be x equals pi n. Where do we have a y-intercept? There's only one y-intercept at the origin. So 0, 0. Relative maxima. This graph uh, attains relative maxima at multiple points. At pi, uh, pi over 2, then it's going to be at 5 pi over 2, and uh, then it's going to be 9 pi over 2. So it's going to be here, and then every 2 pi is going to get another one. And then, then we can write that as pi x equals pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Where does it attain its relative minima? Well, we know we see one at 3 pi over 2, and then it's going to repeat every interval of 2 pi, right? So x is going to be 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Uh, this graph is known as a sine wave or a sine curve. And uh, many processes in the real world that involve periodic behavior, like for example, ocean tides, um, among them, uh, it's going to be possible to use time function to describe such processes. Okay.